I'm Bob Zura. I'm an orthopedic trauma surgeon at Duke University. I run the Orthopedic Trauma Service and the Orthopedic Trauma Fellowship. I'm here to speak to you about exogen. In particular, we'll focus on exogen and its effects on patients who smoke. We'll discuss the mitigating effects of exogen on delayed unions and non-unions, as well as the accelerated healing time in acute fractures. The deleterious effects of smoking on fracture heal time is well established in the literature. Exogen has been demonstrated to mitigate the deleterious effects of smoking on fracture heal time. In 1997, in clinical orthopedics and related research, Cook and their group reported on this mitigation of the deleterious effects of smoking on fracture heal time. In Cook's study, fractures of the distal radius and fractures of the tibia were placed in a randomized study. Some patients were randomized to receive an active exogen unit, while some patients were randomized to receiving a sham unit. That was the only difference in their treatment care. And what was reported was a 51% acceleration in heal time in distal radius fractures and a 41% acceleration in heal time in tibia fractures. That correlated to 72 days of accelerated heal time in the tibia and 50 days in the distal radius. None of the exogen treated smokers had delayed fracture healing versus over 30% in the untreated sham control group. In summary, Cook and, and their colleagues reported that exogen treatment accelerated cortical and cancellous healing in patients treated with an active unit. In non-smokers, the healing time was accelerated as well, as shown here for fresh tibia fractures. Exogen treated patients healed faster by 34 days or 26%. However, the amount of acceleration was even more pronounced in smokers, bringing the average heal time down to the level of non-smokers with no statistical difference between the two groups. This is clear evidence that exogen can successfully mitigate the effects of smoking on fracture healing.